All right, everyone. Now we are going to welcome, coming to us from London, Jillian Anderson, fresh off of her win for supporting actress in a drama series in The Crown. So uh, our first question will come from Kate from Access Hollywood. Kate, it's all you. Hi, congratulations on your win. I love watching everybody in the same room in LA, but what is it like in London having the whole crown crew together and Emma's sharp nails? <laughs> It's um, it's fun. It's a very, very warm um, environment. And um, uh, we didn't get to say goodbye at the end of filming, as, as many shows uh, didn't. And so this is really the first time that we're all in uh, in the same place together. So it's it's really lovely. Is it getting wild? Uh, no, there's chicken wings and there's guacamole. And uh, and some black balls, and and they just showed up, and it's two o'clock in the morning, and that's about as wild as we get in uh, in London town. Hey, I love it! Congratulations, enjoy tonight. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank thank you, Kate. Uh, next up, we've got Sanjita from ET Canada. Oh, it's so good to see you, Jillian. Uh, we knew you were going to be at the Emmys. We knew you were going to win. This is an unprecedented time to see you do this, and. We're so excited for you. What does it mean for you to have taken Margaret Thatcher to this point and teaching a whole new generation about her? Um, well, that's actually interesting. I haven't had that thought before, uh, teaching a whole new generation about her. Um, I think uh, on, on the one hand, so much of it has been, you know, I've, I've been in the business for a long time and it's been, uh, a very long time since I've won an Emmy or been nominated for an Emmy. And so it feels um, extra special, even more so than I think it even did the first time around. Cause you know, when you're 24 or whatever I was 27, um, it, it, you know, you feel like you're invincible and that it's always going to be like that. And of course it isn't necessarily. And so um, uh, for something like this, that, that I, was such an extraordinary experience and um, and was one of the hardest things that I think I'd done to date. Uh, it's uh, really a lovely feeling to be recognized for the work at the end of the day, because um, cause it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, this is a cool moment. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a cool moment. Thank you, Sanjita. <laughs> yeah. uh, our final question for you, Jillian, is coming from Tanya Hart from American Urban Radio Networks. Hi, Jillian, congratulations. I love you on this show. Thank you very much, thank you. So, it, just to kind of continue with the whole Margaret Thatcher thing, first question, has if you've talked to her about this role at all? And secondly, why do you think it has taken America so long to get a female leader? You know, when all of these other countries and and look at what Margaret did in in the UK. Uh, well, I um I, I have not spoken to Margaret. Um, um, and why has it taken the well? You know, the 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 UK had um had Miss May not that long ago, uh, which is mm -hmm. even before the United States of America. So I think maybe maybe the question is why is it taking the United States of America so long to get a female leader? But maybe Kamala Harris that's what, yes, at some point. Is. Maybe Kamala Harris. Maybe that's the next step. Let's hope. <laughs> Thank congratulations. Thank you. Get some rest. And Thank have you fun. very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tanya. And Jillian, congratulations. Have a fantastic night. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.